Some bad news this morning from one of the holiday season's most popular toys, the Juju Pets. The government will be checking their safety after a disturbing report from a consumer group. CBS News correspondent Kelly Wallace is here with the details. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Well, the Consumer Product Safety Commission said it would review the product after a San Francisco-based consumer group, Good Guide, claimed that this Juju or Zuzu pet, Mr. Squiggles, may contain higher than allowed levels of the metal antimony, which could cause health problems. But the maker of Juju Pet says its products are 100% safe for children. The Zuzu Pets have become this holiday season's toy craze, following in the footsteps of Tickle Me Elmo and Cabbage Patch Kids. But the for-profit consumer group Good Guide is giving the toy low marks for safety. The Zuzu Pet, we found a chemical called antimony, which is a metal which has potential health hazards related to it. The federal limit for antimony is 60 parts per million, but Good Guide says its tests measured 93 parts per million in the toy hamster's fur and 106 parts per million in the nose. If these toys aren't even meeting the legal standards in the U.S., then I would say they, it isn't worth the risk for me to bring it into my household. But there are some who feel more testing needs to be done. If you want to know whether um, the toy actually meets the federal standards for that chemical, you would have to do a lot more testing. The maker of Zuzu Pets is also disputing Good Guide's findings and presented test results, which indicate antimony levels below 60 parts per million. The company says its product is absolutely safe and has passed the most rigorous testing in the toy industry for consumer health and safety. And to put this all into perspective, while Harry plays a little bit with the product, at certain doses, antimony can cause health problems, but federal guidelines are generally set at 1% of the level known to be dangerous. So even if the Zuzu pet has close to double the federal limit, Harry's still playing, which the company disputes is the case, that's still only 2%. Again, not something many experts say we need to be very, very concerned about. You just really shouldn't suck on this, I think. That is the, is the general advice for all the toys. Don't put them in your mouths. All right, Kelly, thank you so <laughs> much. Right.